No, thank you so much for chatting to us today. I was wondering if you could start off by telling us a little bit about exactly what Cure Cancer is and a little bit about the Game On initiative that you guys have got going as well. Absolutely. So Cure Cancer is a, a charity, obviously, in the in the cancer research space. Our sole mission really is to try and make this generation the last generation to die of cancer. Um, we've been funding early career cancer researchers for the last 54 years. By early career, what we mean there is people who are traditionally sort of um, five to seven years um, out of their PhD. Uh, we find that a lot of um, grants and funding in cancer research is incredibly competitive. And finding that first grant is quite often the hardest grant that any research is going to, going to um, have to find. So our focus here is really to try and find um, the brightest, the smartest, and the next generation of cancer researchers that are really going to go on and make big breakthroughs that have got really a global impact. Obviously, cancer is a, a disease that sadly affects so many people. So being able to fund this research is incredibly important for us. Um, and then, as you mentioned, then we've got a, a new initiative that we've been um, working on now for a couple of years that we've just done a big rebrand and a relaunch in time for our holiday spectacular coming in this December. Uh, that's called Game on Cancer. So the idea here is really to engage with the gaming community. Uh, obviously, it's a hugely passionate, um, generous community that we have um, that we have found. We've now raised over $340,000 um, through the Game on Cancer initiative. That's really just been working with community streamers, ambassadors um, across mostly Twitch, but then also some really, really key um, games publishers and brands as well that have been really pivotal in supporting us. That's amazing news. Was there something there that sparked that initial relationship between Cure Cancer and the gaming community? Yeah, it really started um, a few years ago with an initiative that was um, run in collaboration with PAX Australia. Um, they, um, they partnered with Cure Cancer to raise some money at that event. Um, and really that just opened the eyes, I think, of Cure Cancer to the opportunity and the the generosity of this community and it's really just snowballed and grown from there. Now you mentioned the game on cancer's holiday spectacular. Tell us a little bit about that because we all need something spectacular this holiday period with what we've been through over the last 18 months. <laughs> Don't we just, yeah. <laughs> so the holiday spectacular, it's coming um, only a week away now. So it's going to run from the 1st of December until the 25th of December. Um, we've got lots of different um, pieces of content running across that whole 25 day um, period. Uh, we've got lots of giveaways, lots of competitions that people can get involved in. Um, a huge number of community streamers are going to be involved. Um, our ambassadors and good friends at Back Pocket are going to be streaming um, their live show, raising funds for us through December as well. Um, and there's obviously lots of opportunity for community streamers to get involved as well. Um, so we ask anybody with a, a stream following, big or small, um, can get involved. They can sign up um, via our website, Game on Cancer. Um, really, really easy. They can register their stream. We use an online platform called Tiltify, so it's all fully integrated into Twitch. Um, gives you all the really cool sort of assets and overlays, etc. so people can get that up on their stream and everybody can take part no matter how big their following is. And if you're just a, an average gamer like myself that, that doesn't have a stream or anything like that, how can we get involved with Game on Cancer? So, John, if you're a casual gamer like myself and you don't have um, a stream or anything like that, how can we get involved with Game on Cancer? There's going to be a huge amount of content coming from our stream community as well as um, various different publishers that you'll be able to get involved with over that 25 days. Um, so the best thing is just to keep an eye on our social channels. We're going to be announcing all of those little bits of content as they come. What you really can do is just get in there, watch your favorite streamers, obviously engage with their content. That's what they're um, incredible at, at creating. And we just ask that you can make a donation of any any size. It all makes um, a huge difference to our researchers and our fundraising efforts. Awesome. And there's a couple of events I wanted to ask you about as well because they sound absolutely amazing. First of all, 
the D&D event, which actually follows our favourite Christmas films. Tell us a little bit about that one. <laughs> yeah, of course. So we've got some uh, fantastic Dungeon Masters and players who are going to take part in that one. I'm afraid I can't quite share those names yet, but that's going to come across our social media channels soon. And I think it's going to be really, really fun to watch. I've certainly never seen anything like this. The idea of having a D&D campaign based around something like Die Hard, if we were to say that that might be a Christmas film, I think that's always a bit of a debate. But I'm really looking forward to watching that one. I think it's going to be really entertaining. There's some great players in there and some really, really good streamers as well. And the other one I wanted to talk to you about as well was the um, eSports event, because I know a lot of our listeners play Madden, they play NBA Live. Tell us a little bit about the, the eSports event that you've got going as well. Yeah. Sorry, I actually don't have any more information I can share on that one at the moment. Oh, Sorry, that's all right. Yep. <laughs> no, I know a lot of people want to jump onto that. Um, also, the other thing I wanted to ask about as well is I believe that there's merchandise that's available for people as well that that might not be as serious into gaming as other people? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got merchandising giveaways from lots of our publisher friends, um, but what we've also introduced is our new MVP program. So this is um, around really engaging with our stream community and encouraging them to take part. So we can, as you're raising money um, through your streams, you'll unlock rewards based on experience points. So for every dollar you raise, you'll unlock an experience point. And then we've got some really exclusive game on merchandise um, coming soon. I've got the, the first product just, just landed this week, um, but we're going to have some water bottles, some really cool hoodies, um, the desk mats, um, obviously for every game that is a must have. Awesome. And I know that you've got a lot of, uh, social media out there as well. So we'll uh, put those links up for all of our listeners at the moment. So people will be able to follow you on Twitter, Discord, everything, and, um, be able to follow exactly what's going on. Um, before I go though, John, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the work that you're doing with Cure Cancer. And I, I guess one of the big questions that I wanted to ask about that is, it's very important work that you're doing to get those young people started out into cancer research. And uh, Australia is ahead of the game with a lot of countries, aren't, isn't it, when it comes to cancer research? Yeah, absolutely. We are incredibly lucky with the number of researchers that we have in Australia, and they are doing some truly groundbreaking and life-saving work. Um, we have got researchers that work across Australia, and we've also got researchers who have moved internationally to work for some of the leading institutions um, that are doing this research in Australia. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing work. And if people want to um, follow Cure Cancer throughout the year and support you guys, how can they support you guys uh, aside from Game on Cancer? We have got so many opportunities for different fundraising or donation um, donations throughout the year. Um, so at the moment, if you check out our website, uh, curecancer.com.au, uh, we have a Christmas shop that's live at the moment. Um, so we like to say it's giving a gift that gives back this Christmas. Um, so you can go in there and you can buy gifts either for loved ones or going through cancer treatment this time of year is obviously incredibly difficult. Um, people are away from their families at what should be such a, <laughs> an amazing sort of family celebration time so you can actually go in there and you can give uh you can give gifts that are going to go directly to to children and adults that are going through cancer treatment awesome well john we want to say thank you so much for all the important work that you're doing with cure cancer we can't wait to get involved with game on cancer and thank you so much for chatting to us today